then go faster, push yourself. You're only gonna grow outside of your comfort zone. The more you can get uncomfortable here spinning, even hitting yourself a little bit, then the faster you're gonna get, the more confidence you're gonna build. But you're probably gonna have to lose control of it or drop it a couple times. This martial arts class, you're gonna be spinning a bow staff to improve speed, strength, power, flexibility in your fingers, your hand, your wrists, your elbows, your arms, all the way through the shoulders, even in your midsection, because you're gonna keep your stomach up and in. Grab your martial arts long stick, your walking stick, a broomstick, your Korean jong bong, your kung fu long staff, or your Japanese bow. Any staff will do. Follow me. Start with a staff in your left hand and you're gonna turn all the way around so that the hand comes pinky side up, palm facing away. Your right hand slides down, touching. I want you to touch the arm. Practice keeping your hands closer together as you spin. This is not a fighting spin, but this spin is cross training for fighting with your Japanese bow staff or fighting with a walking stick. You use the spinning to improve your speed and strength, your ability to handle your staff or handle your walking stick. It supports it. It's extremely important to get stronger hands and wrists and shoulders, elbows. You can get there faster if you throw in some spinning to your striking and your blocking partner drills. In this martial arts class, you're spinning. Bring that to a stop and go back the other way. Pinky side up, palm facing away. Left hand slides down, the right elbow's down. Grab under, all the way through. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast just means learn the basic motion first before you allow yourself to speed up. Smooth part means the transitions. When the stick goes from one hand to the other hand, that's the smooth part. And you can do that with more confidence. Remember, I want you to feel confident and strong. The only way to get there, slow is smooth. Get it smooth, and then you'll naturally speed up. You'll have more strength and flexibility to speed up, but the transition time between the moves, that's what gets shorter that's what makes it truly fast. That's what they mean when they say that. They don't just mean like building muscle power. Now, did you see me lose it there? That's a good thing. I want you to lose control of your stick once you get used to this motion. When you get to that slow and smooth and get to the fast part, smooth is fast, then go faster, push yourself. You're only gonna grow outside of your comfort zone. The more you can get uncomfortable here spinning, even hitting yourself a little bit, then the faster you're gonna get, the more confidence you're gonna build. But you're probably gonna have to lose control of it or drop it a couple times. I'll know I'll drop it at least two or three times in this workout. There I did, I just hit myself in the leg. That's a good reminder, pay attention. Bring that to a stop, and now I want you to go into a one-handed spin around your body, keeping your hand closed mostly you to be relaxed in your wrist, but not open in your fingers. Don't open your fingers, certainly don't take them off. You can go faster if you do that from the start, but there's less control. And this is about spins that strengthen the hands and help you get better at fighting, either self-defense, fun, or competition stuff, staff to staff. If you have that open hand, you open the fingers, you'll lose it. Make yourself strong and flexible with the hand closed. It'll take longer. Anything that takes longer usually has a greater reward. Anytime there's more effort, more difficulty. Now, turn it up on the opposite side of your body and bring your right hand, this is my left hand, right hand pinky to pinky, both palms up, put the right foot forward and go slow at first into that around the body. We'll call this infinity spin. Figure eight. It's the motion it makes. I just whack myself in the arm. Again, it's feedback. Weapons are great to teach you spatial awareness or proprioception. Your sixth sense.
because you start to smack yourself or hit yourself, and that says, oh, my arm is getting a little lazy, or my arm was dangling and my hand was out, my feet were too wide. You figure that stuff out faster when there's a stick in your hand and you're spinning it vigorously around your body. Now, go faster here. Notice to go faster, I gotta pull my gut up and in, and I have to turn with my midsection to assist my hand a little bit. Bring it up, and transition to the other hand. I go pinky to pinky again, and the transition, or transfer to the other hand, comes on the opposite side of my body. Meaning, right hand on the left side, and the left hand gets it. Now, I'm going to transfer from one hand to the next continuously, and I'm gonna to start to step in toward you, and I want you to do this with me. Step back, if you have a little bit of room, take a couple steps, if you have a lot of room, take a bunch of steps, moving forward, moving back. And again, this is gonna help you learn how your body exists in space, and how timing is important, it's crucial. Space and time, you learn by moving, while you're spinning a staff around your body, that's like a level up. You're getting better now. So bring it around, and then start to go faster. Don't worry about which foot goes with which side. Your body will tell you what it's supposed to be. As long as you're moving, you're doing it right. Now, bring that to a stop. Now I put my hand out here to show you how you can bring that to a stop. Eventually your hands will be strong enough, your wrist will be strong enough that you can stop it. Except super, super heavy staff. I'm gonna do a video with one of those later. You want to always assist that and protect your wrists. Now back to that spinning in front of the body, but I'm gonna do a butterfly spin this time. To make the butterfly, I have to cross my hands over and then it's gonna just slide into that hand. Now here, I don't let my hands come apart or my wrists come apart. It's now my right hand, it started in my left. Let's go back. So I have it in my left, I'm turning palm up and I'm gonna slide my hand on top of, and the last one, I was under it. But I slide my hand on top of, the thumbs are in line, there's the butterfly head, there are the wings, that's where the name comes from. Once I take it into the top hand, my right hand now, my left hand, keeping contact with the wrist, this is important, flips down and takes it back away from the left hand. My right hand keeps turning up, my left hand slides in. I have to assist it. When you go slower, you'll use more muscle to get it started. Once you get momentum, you'll use Less muscle to control it and to keep it going, but then you'll need a little bit more muscle, a little bit more strength when you change directions until everything becomes more intuitive. That means you start doing things without even thinking about it. Now, do you notice that my hands are not coming apart? I want you to keep your wrists together. Make this your focus when you do this exercise. When you make this your focus, get better, you'll feel more confident, you'll get stronger, and that's what I want. I want you to feel confident and strong. That's the purpose of this video for you, is I want you to learn how to do some things that other people might not be able to, maybe to defend yourself, but always so you can feel more confident and strong. Now, going back into the other direction, again, remember that hand was coming up, and then the other hand has to slide in, and then it takes it, there's the, the head, the wings, and it doesn't move. It stays in contact, just flips over. Butterfly spin with your bow staff or a walking stick. Remember, there's no way to do this wrong as long as you are doing it. He is to start. You might have a PVC pipe, you might have a metal pipe, you might have a broomstick, painting pole, maybe you have a fancy martial arts staff, 
kung fu style, karate style. And yes, there are Taekwondo and Tang Sudo schools that teach other Korean Hwarango and Kuk Wan and Kuk Do and I think there's a million variations now. I was traveling a lot this week. Saw a lot of other martial arts schools in South Florida. Lots of different names. But I looked in the window, some of them were doing some staff. That's because our origin is all the same. Silambang, the Indian style with lots of cool. The hands are closer together. I'm starting to learn more of those moves. If you are a Silambang teacher, please send me some more videos or link them in the, the video here so others can see it and see what I'm talking about. Super fast, much thinner than this. A little bit more uh, flexible, but really important origin to the staff. The Indian martial arts traveled to China, they say. I wasn't there, it was thousands of years ago. All right, check out some of these other videos. There are lots of videos that I have on this channel that'll help you learn how to do all the things you wanna do with a bow staff or a walking stick or whatever it is you wanna do. Let me know in the comments section what else you'd like to work on. I'll see you on the next one.